Thousands of people in our area remain without power tonight after recent winter storms. Others have not had power for months now. In one community in Colfax, some residents have been without electricity since the river fire tore through their area back in mid-August. Fox 40's Rowena Shattuck spoke with residents in that fire zone to hear their concerns. We're here to help each other. Neighbors helping neighbors is how some Colfax residents say they've been able to get through some recent trying times. But we lost all our food, all of our power's been out, and like I said, now I guess it's been seven days. The helicopters came through this morning, and uh, they come right here, and they're hopefully we'll get we'll get power soon. <laughs> The latest storm knocked out power to more than 4,400 customers in Colfax alone. PG&E says they're working hard to restore electricity to a remaining 35,000 customers in El Dorado, Nevada, and Placer counties. It's it? freezing in there. <laughs> it's cold in there. But Kathy says with a smaller generator and the will to not let the power outage put a damper on things, they still manage to make Christmas fun for their grandkids. And aid from one neighbor down the roadway help many of them in need. We had a really nice neighbor that came. We called him and he came over with his tractor and got us out and then cleared all the roads for all the neighbors. Scott Ishmael is the neighbor and good Samaritan who lost his own home in the wildland fire that ripped through Colfax back in August. Just to see the outpouring of kindness, um, it just makes you want to reciprocate it. Since then, he and his family continue to depend on a generator for power in a trailer they're temporarily calling home. We had the longest time without uh, rain over the summer. Then we had the wettest weekend, 8 inches in 24 hours. And this is the most snowfall they've ever seen in the last 24 years. And losing your house. You just smile. You just go, well can't get any worse than this. <laughs> that he's not alone. A handful of residents still have no electricity following the destruction of the river fire from mid-August. Neighbors say Scott was still there for them, plowing through mountains of snow to clear the roads even after the fire destroyed his tractor. He bought a new tractor and it saved us all. And residents here say definitely it is community support from one another that helps them get through the difficult times. Reporting here in Colfax, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.